hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is faith and so guys recently the news has it that steve harvey and his wife marjorie has been going through a rough time in their marriage and following this news his daughter Lori harvey has called him out for divorcing his wife majority and you guys i'm super excited as always to find out what this video is all about if you guys are yet to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's jump right into this video y'all it looks like things have hit the roof between steve and marjorie harvey because word on the streets is that marjorie cheated on steve not once but twice with two different men. And as if that's not messy enough, streets of Twitter are running wild with rumors that she is also filing for divorce and asking for half of everything that Steve has. And oh allegedly Marjorie's daughter Lori is defending Marjorie and thinks Steve is being a bad husband. Uh, is Lori really blaming Steve for Marjorie cheating on him? Okay, so y'all know that people have been talking about Steve Harvey and Marjorie's marriage and how it looks kind of messed up and all that for ages now. People have been saying that the marriage doesn't look as glamorous and perfect as these two have been making it seem. And child, wow. the way they got exposed over the last couple of days have been nothing short of insane. Mm. According to multiple sources, Marjorie has been cheating on Steve with multiple different men, including Steve's bodyguard and what? their personal chef. This was just insane because Steve is known to be Absolutely like a relationship insane. guru. And Steve recently spoke to wow. People Magazine and admitted that Marjorie changed his entire perspective on marriages and relationships. He said, Marjorie changed the way I existed. I would never been in a healthy adult relationship. I would never been loyal. I would never been fully respected. Child, not this man admitting to being a long-term cheat. Anyways, the reason why people have also had suspicions about their marriage is because of their very interesting past and how their relationship progressed. So Steve and Marjorie first met in the 1990s and it was love at first sight for them. Well, at least it was for Steve because we don't really know how Marjorie felt about him at the time. Marjorie attended a comedy club where Steve was performing and he immediately put moves on her. They kept in touch for a couple of weeks, but Marjorie ultimately decided not to go ahead with the relationship because Steve was a struggling comedian who was still broke at the time. He was still trying to get his coins right and Marjorie was not about to stick with struggle love, especially not after she had been involved with not one but two drug dealers who had spent a lot of money on her. Wow. So she was not about to stick with a man who didn't have the bag yet. The wild thing about this is that both Steve and Marjorie were married at the time, but it wasn't their marriages that stopped them. I guess Steve wasn't lying when he said that he was never loyal. What made this even worse is that the woman Steve was married to at the time, Mary Shackelford, had been super supportive of Steve and his career. I mean, this woman literally put her entire life savings into Steve and helped him set up his first comedy club. And he later dumped her when he got the bag and then Marjorie. Mm. Wow. And speaking of Marjorie, did y'all know that Steve is her third husband? Like I said before, she had been married to two different drug dealers before Steve, so it wasn't surprising that she didn't want him when he was broke. Her first husband was a man named Jim Townsend, and he is the father of Marjorie's first two kids. Unfortunately, he got busted while trying to buy 40 kilos of nose candy when Marjorie was pregnant with their second child, Jason. At the time, the authorities suspected that Marjorie was involved with Jim's business, but she denied it. And Jim also took a plea deal to get her off the hook. She divorced Jim not long after he was sentenced to prison, and she got married to another dealer named Donnell Woods, who is believed to be Lori's biological father. But then, Donnell also got busted by the authorities, and just like she did with Jim, Marjorie divorced him after he went to prison. So the fact that Marjorie has a shady history with two drug dealers, and then refused to date Steve while he was broke, and then started an affair with him while he was still married, has led people to have a not so great perception of her. And for 
for the longest time, many people low-key believe that she is only with Steve for his money mm. and that if he wasn't the millionaire he is today, she wouldn't have even given him a second chance like she did. But as we know, Steve was more than happy when she gave him the green light the second time around and they started dating. They ended up getting married in 2007 and Steve has made it more than clear that he is obsessed with her and spends a lot of money on her. Name something you think Steve Harvey spends a lot of money on. Wife, Steve. Yes! <laughs> And apart from the part about him loving her for who she was, he also legally adopted her children and gave them his last name. Marjorie's reasoning behind making Steve adopt her kids and give them his last name is that she wanted to distance her kids from their biological father's illegal activities and that their fathers were serving time. She wanted her kids to have a fresh start and the fact that she was able to give them a new millionaire father made it even better. Plus, can we talk about how much Steve loves her kids, especially Lori? I mean, people have pointed out that it's pretty clear that he loves Lori more than his own biological kids. And one of our annual father-daughter dates in my favorite Japanese restaurant, and you just started talking to me about guys, and you just told me that you, you know, always supported me, and you'd always be there for me no matter what, and you loved me unconditionally. And so yeah, Steve adores Marjorie. He pays for her expensive lifestyle and that of her kids. He wow. gave her kids his last name and wrote them into his will. It's a lot that he has done for her, so it was pretty wild when I heard the rumors that she would step out on him. And honestly, if it's true, you know how they say karma is a cold-hearted bee. Steve pretty much confirmed that he cheated on his previous marriages, and as Beyonce said, what goes around comes back around oh and y'all want to know what's interesting about this situation it's that the person that she allegedly cheated with is steve's bodyguard who is actually the same person that linked her to steve after so many years y'all know how i said that steve and marjorie first met in the 90s but they went their separate ways well steve himself said that his bodyguard remembered marjorie and insisted that steve pursue a relationship with her steve himself made this revelation to people magazine back in 2016 saying he told me look the only time i've ever seen you happy was when you were with that woman marjorie now before you go and do something stupid and marry another woman i'm calling her it was like being reborn i messed up so many times in my life she made all the difference when you're happy at home you can make a lot of things happen so y'all imagine how people felt when they found out that the same man that linked marjorie and steve after 10 years is the same man that marjorie was having the affair with and not only did marjorie allegedly cheat on steve but rumor has it that she is also going to be filing for divorce any time from now and she will be asking for half of everything that steve has the news of the affair Fair had the internet in shambles and people started talking dragging Steve and Marjorie. However, Steve finally came forward to deny the allegations. Uh, before I get started, just let me say I'm fine. Yeah. Aren't you fine? <laughs> I don't know what y'all doing. Find something else to do. Be fine. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Even Marjorie took to her Insta to deny these and wrote, my husband and I don't usually stop to address all of the foolishness and lies that have been spread about us. However, to whom much is given, much is required. I understand that with my platform comes some sort of responsibility to those that may not be as strong as we are. But that's not all on the drama because allegedly Marjorie's daughter Lori is hella mad at Steve for not defending Marjorie much faster and letting all these rumors run wild and letting her drag all over the internet. The insider said that Lori felt like Steve should have shut down the rumors immediately after they started going around and not waiting for days to address it. The insider also added that the rumors and how they took days to address it have caused a lot of tension in the family. But fans don't buy his denial and they left comments saying, he hasn't cleared up a thing. Wendy Williams attempted this same thing until she could no longer cover it up. Steve, just keep it real. You ain't the only one that this has happened to. And he's just embarrassed that it's out and in the open and doesn't know how to address it. But do y'all believe Steve's denial or do you think that he's just trying to save face? Also, what do you think about Lori's accusations about Steve setting Marjorie up to get dragged? Drop your thoughts in the comments and I will see you in the next video.
wow you guys that was such an interesting one and i don't even know what to believe anymore are they really going through a divorce process or this is all a rumor i really want to know what their state of marriage is right now are they still together or they are in the process of divorcing let me know your thoughts on this one because steve harvey coming out to say that he is fine and marjorie is also fine says a lot and i don't even know what to believe anymore let me know what you guys think about this video and i really had fun reacting to it if you guys totally enjoyed watching give it a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and this is me officially signing out i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys